Glimmer Men are a strange cryptid reported to resemble the Predator from the franchise of the same name. The creatures are afforded the moniker for their distorted shimmering appearance and large humanoid shape. An often repeated observation among Glimmer Men witnesses is that they lurk in the treetops, perching themselves on the highest branches. According to said witnesses, they appear translucent like a drop of water, perfectly blending in with their environment. That is, until they move. In September 2014, amateur Bigfoot field researcher Barbara Shoup was searching the Washington woods when one of her friends inadvertently filmed something strange. Yeah, so something had to have hit it really hard and really fast right in the middle to break it there to not break these smaller yeah. pieces that are supporting it at either end. Yeah, that had to have been, you know, yeah. like a thrust and not a hang, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, something they, hard and fast. For any amount of time, what the heck was that? Did you see that? In the upper left corner of the frame, a blurry pale coloured creature drops down to the ground and disappears into the forest. Just like the alleged Glimmer Man, the anomaly is initially imperceptible. Only when it disturbs the surrounding foliage does the creature become visible. Curiously, whether or not it was the cryptid, it wasn't the thing Barbara reacted to. Rather, she observed a small black creature run away off screen. She was unsure if the two sightings were related. Regardless of her opinion, the comments are rife with those who suspect the creatures were stalking the group. Some paranormal communities even speculate the Glimmer Men are responsible for the so-called missing 411 phenomenon. What do you believe? Like a thrust and not a hang, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, something they, hard and fast. This next video was taken on a CCTV camera back in 2019 in Adana, Turkey. At the time of the capture, star owner Serdar Binisir was preparing for closing time when something extraordinary happened. Out of nowhere, a mysterious stranger taps Serdar on the shoulder and warns him to watch out. When the manager turns to see the problem, he narrowly avoids a large metal latch from a passing truck. A stunned Serdar then looks around to thank the stranger, but finds that he has disappeared. After the video went viral, online viewers postulated the man was a guardian angel, or a time traveller. Some even believed it was Serdar's future self. Whatever the truth, this stranger may have saved Serdar's life. Ellen Melbergstert is the owner of the Swedish YouTube channel, Mel Murder. From its inception up until the present day, the channel has dealt exclusively in true crime, with no videos even vaguely related to the paranormal. In addition, Ellen has made it clear that she displeased in anything supernatural. Her own video may suggest she shouldn't. On the 3rd of March, 2021, at about 7.30pm, Ellen was filming a story for her Instagram while cutting through a small park in Gothenburg city centre. At the time, she didn't see or hear anything amiss. When she later checked her messages, however, she saw her followers were all asking about the thing behind the tree, the thing with a face. I'm on way to my psychologist now, and he's told me to check on Mel Murder this week, and I'm wondering if he's going to ask for a diagnosis for me. And it's so crazy, it's fucking hard. It's really hard here in the garden. Fuck. As Ellen steps into a mud puddle, an unidentified figure momentarily peeks out at her from behind a tree. Unnervingly, it appears to possess dark hair like a human, but has reflective eyes like an animal. Although commenters dismissed the figure as a raccoon or a possum, Ellen explained that both are extremely rare in Sweden. Another theory proposed the figure might be a member of a cult. In the brief glimpse we get of it, some have noted it's wearing a black robe and what looks to be a rabbit mask. Ellen herself believes it may have been someone hiding from the camera. If that's the case, what they were doing, or what they had planned, is terrifying to consider.
Visit the Ghost subreddit and you'll be met with a horde of misidentified dirt particles or crude hoaxes. Every so often however, the site produces something completely bizarre. In January 2020, Southern Californian Redditor Swingset Superman captured these strange balls of light on his doorbell camera. Now, the logical answer is that these lights are simply bugs, yet their synchronised movement indicates an intelligence beyond anything you'd expect from insects. As can be seen, they slowly and smoothly move in tandem, with the second set seeming to catch up with the first before they all disappear behind the pillar. With rational theories thrown aside, a few light-hearted comments have surmised they could be fairies, while others have compared them to a small group of UFOs. A select few meanwhile disregarded the original video as clear deception, pointing out that the timestamp never changes. It should be clarified though that all ring videos have static timestamps. So what did these posters capture? Bugs or something completely unknown? On June 9th, 2020, around 1am, Florida resident Shanique Legacy was live streaming on Facebook when a large humanoid sprinted across his backyard at a pre-natural speed. Only moments before, Shanique had been explaining how he'd photographed an upright wolf figure earlier that day. On first viewing, what stands out most is the creature's size. Based on the nearby utility pole, some analyses have estimated it's between 11 and 13 feet, with Shanique stating it resembled a big white frog. Just like the amphibian, it has a hunched posture, a bulky torso, and two enormous and slender legs. Distinguishing it from any normal animal though, is its transparent appearance. The skeptics however, this proves the apparent creature was instead a wisp of smoke from Shanique's cigarette. Yet this idea has significant flaws. For one, the humanoid moved from left to right, while smoke rises due to density. Moreover, this wasn't the only unusual occurrence around Shanique's home. In addition to the bipedal wolf sighting, he had witnessed a small hairy humanoid months prior. Once more, he had been smoking at his back door when it happened. He recalled the humanoid was roughly 5 feet tall, with jet black fur and yellow eyes. Alarmingly, Shanique believes all three creatures were separate entities. With that in mind, what's your take? Is it all just a misidentification? A hoax? Or could the area be some kind of portal for the paranormal? The largest airport in North America by far, Denver International has been a subject of conspiratorial controversy ever since it first opened. The reason why? Well, throughout its 1.5 million miles per meter, passengers can anticipate dystopian murals depicting scenes of war and death, a sculpture of a red-eyed horse, and a capstone plaque dedicated to the New World Airport Commission. Look further, and the rabbit hole goes even deeper. 
1996, journalist Alex Christopher claimed she'd infiltrated an underground network below the airport. Alex went on to say that these subterranean tunnels housed a variety of aliens that frequently killed and consumed children. Still in the realm of outlandishness, and yet somewhat more plausible, is the notion the airport is really a front for a secret doomsday bunker used by the so-called elite. One person who has discussed these theories and others like them is photographer Nick Hinton. On March 12, 2020, around 1am, Nick was at the airport making his way home when he recorded something particularly ominous. Nick stated the airport had been testing their PA system for emergencies all night, but that this was the only alarm that sounded odd. He posted the video to social media to ask if anyone could make out what the voice said. The opinion was split between those who heard the immediate threat remains aerial, and those who heard the ending is a brand new variable. Take another listen and let me know what you hear. So was this additional evidence of strange happenings at Denver International Airport, or was it simply a malfunctioning speaker? The Another video shot by a doorbell camera, this one comes from Irving, Texas. Again, whatever was caught had sufficient mass to activate the motion detector. The brief video depicts some seeming partially cloaked object flying over the neighborhood. Although there was speculation the video was sped up, Reddit poster Twillis Qatar insists it's the original speed. Assuming this is true, it seems to eliminate the possibilities that the UFO was a cloud or a flock of birds. So could it be a UFO then? If so, it appears to be a horrifyingly massive V-shaped craft. Intriguingly, one commenter claiming to be from the same neighborhood the video was recorded alleged they'd seen the same UFO on the same day. They asserted they'd been walking their dogs when a large white object flew over some treetops. But what do you think? Does the video show a UFO? Or is there a more ordinary explanation at hand? Urbex Hill is a popular urban exploration YouTube channel founded by Christopher Hill. In April 2022, he ventured to an undisclosed tunnel system hidden deep within the woods of Point Pleasant, West Virginia. As he pushed deeper into the darker reaches of the Labyrinthian Nightmare, he suddenly perceived the luminous eyes of two semen raccoons. Only when Chris reviewed the footage did he realise it was something far more terrifying. In the video, a set of glowing eyes briefly peers out from around the end of a water-filled tunnel. Moments later, some shadowy humanoid moves into the open before receding back into the darkness. Despite accusations of a hoax, Chris has adamantly maintained the video is genuine. More believing viewers, meanwhile, have noted the creatures appear spider-like, with two or possibly three distinctly lengthy appendages. Chris, though, thinks this likely means the humanoids are a couple of pet chimpanzees released into the woods. We can only hope he's right. Based near Geneva, Switzerland, CERN hosts the world's largest particle accelerator, the Large Hadron Collider. Consisting of a 17-mile ring of superconducting magnets, the collider works by accelerating particles close to the speed of light and smashing them together. The purpose is to try and replicate the extreme conditions that existed in the universe's early beginnings. To no one's surprise, however, not everyone is persuaded by this. 
Over the years, the facility has given rise to conjecture, suggesting researchers are attempting to access other dimensions. While some more religiously minded theorists believe CERN is opening a portal to hell. In other words, it was the usual assortment of unfounded fears and theories. Or was it? In August of 2016, a YouTube user going by the name Richie uploaded this chilling footage of a supposed human sacrifice being performed on CERN grounds. What the f Shot from a window of a nearby building, the video shows a group of black robed figures gathering in front of a statue of the Hindu deity Shiva. Moments into the ritual, a female follower disrobes and lies on the stone floor. One of the shrouded cultists then draws a knife and appears to mime stabbing the woman before the cameraman suddenly flees. Although uploader Richie couldn't definitively rule out the possibility of a hoax, he did reveal that the source of the video had been found dead, and things only got stranger. When reporters pressed CERN for information, a spokeswoman confirmed the video had been filmed on facility premises, but assured the ritual was simply researchers taking their sense of humour too far. Speculators though suspect this was a cover up, but what about you? Is this just some bored researchers playing a prank, or a genuine human sacrifice to the god of destruction? <laughs> 